Rudy Giuliani. Oh, yes, yes. Not sweating liquid down his face this time, but he has set his sights on a new foe, the Lincoln Project. I find the Lincoln Project to be quite despicable. And by the way, the numbers bear out that their project was completely ineffective because Trump is as popular as ever with Republicans. And so the mythical anti-Trump Republican was not a part truly of the Biden coalition. But I digress. Let's hear Rudy's take on uh, why he's feuding with the Lincoln Project. The defense is going to have to show that this thing was planned and that a lot of the people involved in the planning, Antifa, and then even some right-wing groups were enemies of his, and that they were- I just wanted to set up, this is his take on the insurrection and uh, how he's blaming it on the Lincoln Project. Doing it in order to hurt him, uh, including some right-wing groups that operate for the, for, for the Lincoln Project, or have been, have been working with the Lincoln Project at various times. You have a couple of wolves and sheep. Hold, hold sheep it. Hang clothing. on. Hang on. What, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what do you say working for the Lincoln Project, right wing groups like who? One of the people who organized this is well known for having worked with the Lincoln Project in the past. And also, also, okay, there but are, there who, are who is it? But today, I, 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 Rudy, we can't just. He yo, helped to bring. Yo, you gotta yo. Let me finish this. But, uh, yo, okay. rude. Yo, man. So there, Go ahead. There, one of the people involved brought in right-wing groups that opposed Trump. And he brought them in specifically because he wanted to blow this thing up. He had the same motivation. He had the same motivation the Antifa people had. So it isn't as if all these right-wing groups were all pro-Trump. And the biggest problems, violent problems, were caused by Antifa. That's where the shooting took place. That's a, that, that, that was surrounded by all Antifa people. Fuck so... Fuck how, how can he be held responsible for a whole thing that's planned days before he's going to speak? Look at that super That has a mixture ring. of people that hate him and people that support him. He's, he's not so responsible. Who's the guy, how can he who, possibly but who's be responsible the guy, who's, But who's the guy working with the Lincoln Project? He's a, he's a uh, I, don't know if, I, don't, I don't know if I can uh, reveal his name because <laughs> we, have that, we have that from anonymous sources. <laughs> But he was, he, oh, he, he, God, and he worked me. in the past. He worked in the past for Romney. Okay, hang on for a second. Okay, but <laughs> I, I mean, hey, this is why we're getting blown up all the time. You can't throw a charge out there like that and then say, yeah, I got a double secret probation guy who I can't mention, but he worked for Romney, he worked for the Lincoln Project. Anyway, we'll drill down this more. I, I'll it, tell you what, I, I'll tell you what, Rudy. Okay. Okay. That is glorious. So, lest you believe that Steve Bannon is doing journalism there. <laughs> Steve Bannon is terrified of getting deplatformed and or sued. Yeah. That's what that is. But secondly, we should believe Rudy, right? He's never made false claims before and then, you know, had to face the music in court and then actually said there was no election fraud. Oh, wait, that is Rudy Giuliani. I mean, the fact that he thought he was in a friendly space with Steve Bannon and Steve's like stomach dropping into his butt thinking like, I am going to get kicked off of my platforms again. I am going to get sued. Just Is like- this serious? Is he still on serious? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, one American news network was sued because they kept saying Dominion, Dominion, Dominion. You know, they're changing the votes. Uh, and so and Newsmax was threatened with litigation, I, I believe. Um, and, and the My Pillow guy, too. Bannon's like, I don't want that happening to me. So that wasn't due diligence journalism wise. It was covering his own ass. For but sure. Still. But still, because Giuliani thought he was in a friendly place, he wasn't expecting that. And then he actually answered anonymous sources, probably bots on Twitter telling Rudy Giuliani or bots on Parler or whatever that doesn't exist anymore, telling Giuliani that uh, the Lincoln Project was involved in the Capitol and sort of undercover. I mean, I did think I, I saw like, Scaramucci just like charging full throttle into the Capitol. You know, he was he was like, "Don't touch me." That's not what he does. But like, hey, he's wearing a very nice suit, Yay. and he just he just he it was like a scrum, you know, and he got right through the middle. Uh, yeah, you know, Lincoln Project, <laughs> Lincoln Project, and Antifa. You know, strange bedfellows. Okay, the hashtag resistance is broad, and sometimes you got to do entire false flag operation. 
in yeah, Giuliani's I, brain. I want to talk about that false flag thing because I laughed. There was a funny tweet that said like the, the leading line from the right now is that a bunch of Antifa herded patriots into the Capitol against their better judgment. <laughs> um, and that is basically they what they're stayed. saying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but like then I heard from somebody back in North Dakota that um, like their significant other came home and they were talking like, oh, did you hear what's been going on at the Capitol? And everything that was going on at his workplace was it's Antifa that's doing most of the bad damage. So I think we need to not underestimate this right wing propaganda machine and how fast it gets its tentacles with even the dumbest bullshit lies. Yeah, uh, into I mean, that's, that's interesting because it's like it, you know. A lot of folks were out there that day, news organizations. Jordan Klepper was out there for, you know, making fun of everybody. But I think the one question, you're just like, are you Antifa? Are you Antifa? And, and you could just, you know, w- next time we'll all ask because there will be a next time, sadly, uh, if everyone there is Antifa. And just it's I mean, the other day, I mean, recently there was a footage released of a woman who was one of the people who died who was trampled to death. Right. And the reason she was trampled to death is that the crowd was so fixated on hitting a police officer on like bludgeoning this cop that they ran over her body and then she just died yeah they weren't herded in like benign cattle with a little you know sheep dog nipping at their heels and that sheep dog would be antifa i mean but you putting that into context like you know Jokes it's, aside, it's 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 extremely disturbing, and we're st- we're only weeks removed, and that's all it took for Republicans to say, "No, nah, we're not going to hold him accountable." And like, what's the 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 pathetic lack of accountability displayed by Republicans like Rudy Giuliani is that they can't even reckon with what they've created, so they have to pretend it's their own the foes um, that were trying to oppose them, like the Lincoln Project and like Antifa. Like, right. These are all never Trumpers who stormed the Capitol. Uh huh. That's all they are after I and everyone else encouraged them to storm the Capitol. I mean, you know, like Trump saying, like, we're not going to accept this hours before it happened. Uh, I just wonder what Rudy Julie, like, what's his future? I just, I'm surprised he still thinks he's going to be relevant. Like, you're not getting paid. You didn't get the pardon. Uh, we're all out of whiskey. You got a few saltines left in the pantry. Like what, it, you know, you got the one good suit. He's like that. He's the, he's the guy, like the party's over, the house party's over. And he's still just like chugging vodka shots at the end. You're like, dude, you're way too drunk. And <laughs> that's already. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, it's also like, it, does he not go away? Is he, con- are they, he, is he Trump's last friend? I mean, he's basically just surviving on like, self-generated bile that just Mm -hmm. body every day so i don't really know what kind of like fuel life that uh that that rotund mechanism has (laughs) i mean he could get on all these shows though and that's the crazy thing is like even bannon having him on you know bannon you've really strayed from your white ethno state you know goals and uh all the nazis are sad (laughs) 